Bus driver Joan, thank you for the update from Fort Lauderdale. And new at five, fierce flames shooting out of the roof of this mansion in Fort Lauderdale. The fire causing some of the roof to collapse, making it a battle for firefighters to put it out. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yetz live for us in Fort Lauderdale with the very latest. Bo Beth? Well, Elliot, it's still a very active scene. This fire truck behind me is one of about eight that is out here. And after several hours and more than 50 firefighters, this massive at East 7th Street in Fort Lauderdale, officials say it's under control. Now, this fire began just around 1.30. It's finally out. The blaze, unfortunately, though, destroyed the three-story, 8,000-square-foot waterfront mansion. And based on the preliminary report, it began when a contractor was working on the roof. We're told a torch they were using caught a portion of something in the attic on fire. And by the time officials were called out, the blaze was already made the home. Now, officials tell us they also had some challenges as to why this fire took about four hours to get under control. Uh, one of the unique challenges that we face on these barrier islands or on these islands is that uh, you only have access to the front of the home and not the back of the home because of the water. Uh, so our, our fire boat becomes a very vital asset in this type of scenario uh, from supplying water to also being able to uh, advance a fire attack from the backside. Now, again, this home off Southeast 7th Street pretty much destroyed. We're told since the fire started in the attic, the third floor pretty much fell down to the first floor. Now, officials also are telling us that the family was in the home at the time, so all of them were able to get out, and they're all okay. And as also, all the firefighters were able to get out of the home before things got really out of hand. Of course, they're still investigating what caused this um, incident uh, to get more details of how it actually happened and we'll bring you those updates as we get them live in Fort Lauderdale Bobethia at CBS 4 News.